Hello world, this is Chatty Dad One um, speaking with you tonight. Um, I just wanted to bring up a few things that I've thought a lot about here recently and uh, that's very important for us to know. Um, this is just stuff that I, this is my take on things, okay? Um, through learning a lot of stuff, research, um, doing a lot of digging here and there, um, and talking with other people around the community and people um, in California that I know. I have relatives on the Midwest and some stuff that's, you know, that they feel. Um, one of the things that I'm kind of concerned about is how this shooting of this teenage um, young man was killed by um, Zimmerman. Um, this is a tragic thing that's happened and uh, I think that personally Zimmerman should be held accountable a little bit more than just to be let off the hook. But I think that it's very suspicious the, the situation and the circumstances that was happening. Um, this wasn't the first time Zimmerman had dealt with this young man. Um, the captain of this um, neighborhood watch, he was a loose cannon. Okay, why in, why in this world he was allowed to be armed with a 9 millimeter handgun is beyond me. I, I just, I cannot get that through my head, especially with this guy having a record. Um, but <laughs> he applied for the police academy in 2008, and they may have, uh, found a way to, to, to get him past that. Um, there was other incidences where he had chased a shoplifter who had stolen a 13-inch TV for several blocks until the police caught up with him and he helped them arrest the guy. He pursued and had the cops arrest another man who spit at him. Um, you know, this guy was a loose cannon. He was a power hungry, and he, he, he was a bomb waiting to go off, okay? I think that they knew this. Who knew? Well, he dealt with the powers that be a lot. He, um, like I say, he was wanting to get into law enforcement, wanting to get into anything he could, Homeland Security and everything else, the whole thing. He wanted power. Okay, the only power that they let him have is this this little um, community watch, um, which he was obsessed with, um, being the Gestapo of the block. Um, I feel bad for the family that's had to endure this, but, you know, the Zimmerman, he should have never ever been carrying a 9 millimeter handgun while doing a patrol in the block, you know, as a, as a community watchman. Never should have been armed. Um, a taser, maybe. Um, pepper spray, you know, yeah. Um, but not a 9 millimeter handgun. Come on. That's just insane. And, like I say, how he got this handgun is beyond me. Because he had a criminal record. Not just one incident with the law, but several. Um, and he, uh, the, the police department turned him down probably because he was a, a, a mental, uh, he was not, not competent to be a police officer. Having this much power and authority. Uh, they, they, they knew it. Um. Possibly he could have been a, uh, somebody uh, with ties to the CIA or 
you know, Homeland Security or who knows what. He had to report to somebody, being this captain. He got that title from somebody. He didn't just give it to himself. Um, the, the circumstances are very, very strange. And like I say, he hadn't dealt with this young man for the first time. He had dealt with this young man several, several other times in the past. Had, a, you know, had arguments with him and um, exchanged words with him. He had a problem with this kid, um, definitely. But let me go on. Um, this case is a month old, okay? I think that they waited for this thing to happen over in uh, Great Britain and right along with the Marine soldier that killed all the Afghanistan people that went on the rampage. These lone, one, uh, lone gunman people that just went out and, and, and lost it and took the power that they had in their hand and misused it. Um, uh, it's, it's a sad situation, but this type of thing creates what's it's called in society as please disarm us. We are hurting ourselves and each other. We got people that don't know how to deal with firing handle, handling firearms and don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Um, when you go through a, a course dealing with firearms, I've been through a hunter safety course and all all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if you you have a handgun, you need to learn how to shoot it because you possess a, a great power. You know, it's so easy to accidentally shoot yourself, let alone someone else. So it's sad because they are drawing attention on this issues, even though this is. It's not happening everywhere. It's just a few isolated incidences, but they sure are making the most out of the situation. They are pushing it to the front of the news and exploiting it as much as possible. This is going to continue to happen more and more often. They're going to use these lone gunmen, and they're going to say, look, these guys are out of control, and they're killing people. Okay, This is going to happen more to try to take away our gun rights. Um, you know, it's going to happen. They don't want us to be armed. They don't want us to having firearms because it's a major problem for them. They cannot continue with their plans with an armed population. It's too dangerous for them. But once we're disarmed, it's fair game. It's over. It's over. Um, we can't form militias anymore. The government takes them out, takes them down. They can be considered a cabal. Any secret organization is considered a cabal. That's what they're talking about, all these cabal arrests. Well, that is any secret organization. The Skull and Bones, Freemasons, the, uh, you know, the local gentleman's club or whatever, you know. If you've got a, a members-only little club and you get together and you share your secrets on survival or whatever, you could be considered a cabal and they can arrest you. And I'm sick of tired of hearing people talking about, well, the president doesn't have the authority. The president doesn't have the authority. Wake up. He has all the power and all the authority now. Read the NDAA bill. It's a National Defense um, Authorization Act or something like that, but read it. He just this weekend on Friday um, signed another executive order stating that they have to go ahead to um, prepare for a major emergency to happen. It could be a solar flare since this sun's 
coming back around and we got some major problems coming th with it and they can come in and, and take your food take your guns take your uh, take anything that they've seen and deem necessary to help them or to prevent problems from occurring okay they have all the power they need and I also figured out that the reason that I was um, treated the way I was when I was pulled over last month is because all cops are considered federal um, they can be called on and are under the federal net in any situation um, through these new NDAA acts and bills um, stuff's going down um, they're not going to arrest all these 10,000 people at once they're already doing it here and there though um, they're going down but people I don't think it would be in your best interest to go and take a concealed weapons permit class and take your own firearm it's not going to be in your best interest to can to keep and register your firearms if you have firearms and you want to escape this without being killed or jailed get rid of your firearms you know what I'm saying get rid of them sell them um, throw them in the no get rid of them to where you have a proof that they are not in your possession anymore and y you know because if you have bought one from Walmart or any place else and they did a call in on you for the um, ATF they know what you got they know exactly what you got and there's gonna come the time where they're gonna come and collect it up either in the name of we need this to um, supply these volunteers with arms or we need to take this to secure the area so nobody comes in and takes this to, to use against us I mean the United States is now a war zone uh, according to the government so martial law can be slammed down on any moment may already have been but may not be in your area or my area but it is in some areas they're already clapping down they're really coming after the Wall Street uh, protesters hard real hard and I mean they're they're getting bad with them they're uh, trying to box them in leaving them no place to go and arrest them by the thousands to never be heard from again some of them may be anyhow you guys the information's all there go check it out you know and if you want to say that I don't know what I'm talking about and blah 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 you want to cite all these laws and stuff on me that's fine but please go back and read the NDAA of uh, 17 something or other go go read it and, and look what it says if anything poses a threat to this government we can use they can use military action against that entity person people organization whatever all they got to do is say that you are a threat to the security of the nation okay whether you're a hacker whether you're a survivalist whatever you're a threat you know I mean it, it's starting to come fast y'all it's starting to come real fast and uh, a UFO sightings are just up and they're coming out of the woodwork and that's something that I think is going to probably come out soon too is this whole thing about you know disclosure but this needs to happen because they have the free um, energy technology that we need and uh, we need to friggin drill for oil we need to get this stuff out of the ground and get away from the Middle East oil we got plenty right here that we can use for our people four dollar gas 
or above for any period over a month will crash us as a country. We can't sustain it. No way. We can't do it. There's no way. There's no way that they can charge us that much. I mean, prices are just going up through the roof. Um, I put $80 in my vehicle and went to work last week, and it didn't last the whole week. It's never happened like that, okay? So I had to take a whole um, half a day's pay just to put in the gas tank, you know? And it didn't even last me all week, so come on. And, uh, you know, they're going to come after hard and heavy after the, the little guy who's not with the group. And, um, people, let your heart, let your heart lead you. You know what's right and what's wrong. You know that it's wrong to group all people under one net. For any such reason. Okay, we got a religion is under attack. Your freedoms, all the freedoms are under attack. And uh, I don't know what else to do about it, but prepare. Then that might not even do no good, but if I was you, personally myself, I'm, uh, I'd like to go find some place and find a cave somewhere to, to be ready to go to and have everything that I need in there in that cave because with the Sun acting like it is you ain't gonna be able to go outside um, chemtrails like they are you ain't gonna be able to go outside and inside might not help either oh boy Y'all, we need prayers. We need prayers for this country, for the people that are trying to do what's right. There's a lot of good people, loving, good, hard-working people in the United States and around the world. We outnumber them 10 to 1. They might have all the major power but we really have more to lose, way more to lose than them. We have reasons to uh, to fight, so to speak, for our family, for our religion, for our God, for our children, for our country. As much as it is a country of righteousness and abiding to God's you know, commandments, and being that it's not, we've got to get it back there, or else it's game over. You know, everybody's not going to agree with me, and that's, that's fine. I respect anybody's, you know, I respect your, your opinions, and what you feel, and what you believe. I do respect it. But please allow me to feel and believe, too. And I'm just sharing with you how I feel and what I see and the things, the way things look to me. And uh, <laughs> it's coming on fast and hard. I've been keeping on. I've, I've had a lot of dreams here lately about <sighs> I'm getting up. And there's somebody coming through my home and searching my home. And I'm, me and my family are hid somewhere in the home. And they're in the home looking everywhere. They're in the woods looking everywhere. And they never find us. But I've had this dream four times now within the last two months. It's weird. I, I don't know what, I don't know what to make of it. Um, I pretty much don't watch TV anymore. Got rid of uh, Dish Network all besides keeping the box for $5 a month because we have a lot of stuff that we recorded and 
you can keep the box for five dollars a month and watch all of your um, DVR stuff but you can only do that for six months but that's what I'm doing right now and uh, everything else I get I'm getting offline and from Netflix that's been eight bucks a month compared to 40 for Netflix or for 40 for friggin satellite man it's way better it's way better doing way way better and I ain't got to deal with this crap that they're shoving us I don't have to deal with corrupting myself with that the trying to wallow through that that stuff makes me ill it, it absolutely drains me I, I can't handle it anymore uh, it, it makes me angry the commercials they play infuriate me and I'm no longer gonna put up with that I haven't for a while and I'm glad <laughs> but I've been quite busy lately working working hard anyway love y'all and pray for you and hope that everybody's well and hope that everybody can do as much as they can to prepare yourself and your family and your neighbors just tell them show them these things a lot of times people hold within themselves because they think that somebody's gonna call them crazy when your neighbor right down the road might have seen a UFO or believed the same thing. They might listen to Coast to Coast too. All you got to do is mention it and boom, you'll be surprised how many people do um, have the same interests that you do, that I do. Um, I've been interestingly shocked by it myself. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to continue on. Sorry for being so long-winded. Anyways, good luck, God bless. This is Chatty Daddy 1 over and out.